Welcome back. And this video series is actually going to be three parts. I'm going to talk about um, Gmail at ASB, Google Calendar at ASB, and Drive at ASB. Um, you have received the email that everyone does need to get Google Level 1 certified before um, the school year starts, which is really going to help you out. And so these tutorials are going to be specific to ASB. Um, hopefully, you can get some tips for efficiency um, so that you can thrive in your digital life. You have noticed probably that I am on my ASB, my portal, and if I click on Google Apps, I can see those three things here. However, I'm going to show you quickly how you can make a bookmark in your Chrome bar. So Chrome is our browser of choice, mostly because it helps us with a single sign-in. Um, however, my ASB is another website of choice so that we can have quick access to the bookmarks. If I'm on my ASB um, and I want to get there very often and as fast as possible, I can actually make a bookmark for this page. So I'm going to click on this little um, lock, like padlock, and I'm going to click it and drag it down to this bar. So you can see that it's making like, oh, do you want to add this to your bar? And yes, I do. So here it says teacher portal. Now I have a quick shortcut to directly to my ASB. I'm going to right click this. So on a Mac, it's control click or clicking with two fingers, and I'm going to say edit. This just names this. I can name this my ASB and then save it. And now it makes it a little bit shorter. I sometimes even just remove the name altogether to save my spell self space. Now it's just this little mark ASB. So if I go to a new browser and I look at my bookmarks here and I just click on the ASB, boom, it takes me right there. All right. When I turn my computer on for the day, I have three tabs pinned that I use often. I use my Gmail, my Drive, and my calendar all day long. So I have my Gmail open, I have my Drive open, and I have my calendar open. You can see that these tabs are quite small. The reason they're small is because I've right-clicked on this tab and I've pinned it. This means that it is pinned here um, and that it's gonna stay open all day. All right, that I can visit other websites, maybe I go to Kahoot, and then I could close that as well. So these are pinned and they're just here all day for me. All right, let's get into the Gmail tutorial. So those were just some little tips for making your Chrome browser experience a bit more fun or efficient. And now I'm in my Gmail. So let's just go into a quick tour of this. We have the pancake on the left. This gives me my main menu, which is basically this, all right? And I have my inbox sorted by unread first and then read below. And if you hover over this until you get like a little drop down, you'll be able to change that yourself. This is also new in Google Meets that you could start a Google Meet. Um, you won't need this as often when we are face to face, but if we do have any virtual mode this year, you might want to start a meeting there. And then on the very bottom, we have some chat, some chat features. So. Just quick, this is my quick plug in for chat versus mail. We often want to say something very short to someone that may not want to clog up their mail. So maybe I want to tell the teaching and learning team, hey, thanks so much for that. I don't know, maybe they left me a brownie for on my table. I'm not going to maybe waste a whole email and clog up their email because we really do have a lot of communication at ASB to the point where sometimes our inboxes can get too full. So one thing that I can give you is don't reply all to emails. <laughs> um, reply to the specific person that you need. And if you have something that is just like a quick thanks or it's more of like a text message content, just send them a little Google chat. So let's say that I want to find something and I need to send it to Jenny. I could just type in Jenny's name here. It would pop up and then I can just give her a little G chat. All right. So do consider using the G chat feature when you need to. Um, and then you can compose emails for longer messages. All right. Gmail also has this feature now where it has quick action. So for example, if this is Canva and it's not an email that I even need to read because it's spam, I could directly delete it from here and not have to select it and then archive it. So I might just delete that and that I have this other one. Maybe I just want to mark that as red white right away or this one. I want to say, oh, I need that to be new. Can you remind me of that maybe tomorrow at this time? So there are some quick features here that 
that you could start using to help make your email life a little bit more manageable. And on the right hand side here are some widgets. So what I have open almost all day is this one called calendar. And so I can see my email and at the same time I can see my calendar, which will include your schedule for the day. Hooray, it's summer, so we don't have anything on our schedule for the day, but you can navigate through here and you could maybe see if I went back, I had some, I had some meetings. And so this will just help you kind of organize your day when you're in your email. There's also a widget for Keep that I use quite often. And if you're familiar with Keep, it's just like a little virtual post-it note that you could add some things onto. And my personal favorite is this Tasks button. All right, so this Google Tasks actually helps you make like a to-do list that you can then check off. So maybe I had to do something with BookFlix and I'm done with it and I could check it off. I am someone who uses my email as a semi-virtual to-do list as well. So if it's unread, I know that it's not done yet. And if it's read, it's already finished. So let's say a student emailed me that I need to do something for, and I've read it. Now I could mark that as read, or there is this option when you click on these three dots, you could add it as a task. Oh, they have moved it now. Add to task directly here. And when I do that, it links in that email. So maybe I added a task to, to do this thing and I could click on this little linked email and it would take me back to that email. So you can see that this might be useful. Maybe your subject area leader asks you to do something in an email and you wanna do that later and there's some information that you might have to read. If you use this add to tasks button, it will appear on your right hand side as a task as well as link in the email that has that information. So um, you could also maybe have to do this, let's say that uh, announcement goes out in the take note to update your phone number. Well, you don't feel like doing it right at this moment because you have a class coming and you have students. You could just say add to tasks and then edit this uh, update phone number. Number for Anna. And then that email with the link of where to do that would be attached. Um, so that those are my main tips within Gmail is just a review of decide how you want to sort your inbox. If you want to sort it by everything coming in or unread and then read. Um, and my drop down here isn't coming, but you should be able to see priority, unread or read. So decide how you want to sort your email. Um, and then also thinking about when to send a chat, when to send an uh, email, and definitely um, sending an all staff email. We try to limit as much as possible or replying to all we like to limit as much as possible. And then also using your widgets here on the side. So your calendar, make sure that schedule's in there, and then using your tasks. Those are my tips for email at ASB. Um, I wanna just show you one thing when you compose an email. <laughs> and these are the different email groups. So there is a full list of that, and let me just grab that for you. So this is a document that shows all of our ASB email groups. You are viewing it now, however, at the beginning of the year, I meet with every division, we go through the slides, if there's new email groups, and then you get this document and I suggest that you print off this slide and so you just have it by your desk. Or if you wanna just take a screenshot and have that somewhere maybe on your phone or a digital document that you can then notice. So we have ASB staff, ASB.teachers, performing arts, all the high school groups, middle school groups, ES groups, and ECC groups. So it's important to know that they're there and you can see our naming code includes always like a dot here, um, ms.sst, es.assistance, at asbarcelona.com. So that is my last tip for the email is just to know that that is coming. When we meet in the fall, when we meet all together with your division, you will be given um, access to this PowerPoint, which you can then print off. So that is how you could send a group email if you did need to do so. Uh, but do you remember, no need to reply to all if you can help it, all right? If not, everybody is involved in the reply. All right, and that is the end of your Gmail session. What will be coming up next will be the Google Drive. So between now and when you start your next video, your job is to explore your Gmail inbox. Um, make sure that you have all your emails read, that you do stay on top of that because you don't want to get into email debt. Um, explore the chat feature and explore the widgets here on the side, especially the calendar and the tasks. All right, have fun exploring your ASB email.